Welcome to episode 1162, Tornbill Tonkis, the Swede who got rich from Russian oil. Eight lessons. An outline of episode 1162, lesson 1 to 4. This is lesson 5 to 8. 1. Energy prices are determined by supply, not demand. I think that uh, is that the most important factor for the uh, for the uh, oil industry or by the oil prices today. I, I I still think that the situation is uh, is more that we, we we it's a supply actually rather than demand more. Even though I mean we don't remember six seven years ago the, the industry needed ninety dollars to break even. Uh, three four years two years ago as we talked about sixty dollars and now you talk about fifty dollars and I think it's. Uh, and two, the energy industry is innovative and high tech. Uh, and we have, I've heard it here, and, uh, and, and, and th this industry is fantastic innovative. The technological breakthrough is really a high tech industry now. Lesson three, lower energy prices in the long term because of lower break even prices. And that drives break even costs down. Or are you going to have fluctuations? And what is that balancing price? To me, it's clear. It's going over time. It's going lower rather than higher. Lesson four, the energy industry is cyclical because of the investment cycle. Lesson five, for the first time in history, we have competing energy sources. And we're actually living in a world for the first time, in the first time in the modern energy society, where you actually have competing energy sources. The power generation is one, coal, oil, gas. They're actually competing today head and head on a cost basis. Lesson six, U.S. sanctions and Timchenko in 2014. Lesson 7, he inherited the company Grunwa after Timchenko sold him for $2 billion in 2014, the fire sale, in March 2014, just one day before the imposition of U.S. sanctions. He sold Grunwa Group to his partner, Tonkis, for a reported sum of $2 billion. Tonkis is Swedish. Now, we don't need to feel sorry for Timchenko. Look at him now. He's worth $26 billion. Listen, A, electric cars are not yet profitable. And by the end of the day, uh, <coughs> I do believe that uh, future transportation by, by and large will be based on the lowest cost of energy. And I'm not sure that we are talking about it if you take what it costs to make an a, a, uh, electric car. And no one has managed to make, uh, produce an electric car profitable yet, in spite of subsidies. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.